Hey everybody, we're back, and one of these days we're gonna get a, a ten piece on video. We've gotten some on stream. Don't I, look? I'm just telling you sincerely. I ran a frog today. Okay, I ran a frog. It did not work very well for me. It'd be a peculiar president. I can think of a few right off the top of the of the dome piece. I I ran ant in the middle, and I I was prepared to regret it. Because if they had a seahorse, that could screw this whole thing up for me. But you know what? It worked out okay. No duplicates. Uh, no duplicates on our second roll. I think we have to buy an otter and then roll and, and use money inefficiently. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous. The reason I'm doing it is because I want to make sure... Fantastic, fantastic. I want to make sure we have a good chance at a level for next time. Now, you might say you're not going to get any level 2s because your shop is fully frozen. That's completely true. You raise a very valid point. However, on the bright side... Man, we were so close to a win, like, with both ants there. Um, we are going to get a level 3. And it's going to be a kangaroo, which is pretty okay <laughs> at best. Um, you know what? I think we're unwinding these ants. Let's, let's pill one real quick. Sounds great to me. And then at least two guaranteed triggers early on our kangaroo, unless someone's running a, a dolphin, which is theoretically possible because it is a tier three now, or a hedgehog. No, my, yes, it's good, it's good. It's okay. Anti-hedgehog strats by accident, okay? So there's a win. I think that the jellyfish, it's just tough to, it's just tough, man. It's just tough to guarantee that it's gonna get any form of scaling. I think I'll pass. I'm gonna pass on this one. Now, if you're gonna force my hand, honestly, best option available, I think, is this. I don't think you wanna aim for a level three moth. There's, it could give you a buffalo. Have we lost to many buffaloes this week? I seem to uh, be thinking that the answer to this question is no. Seems like when we lose, we seem to be losing to a lot of teams with no food that are being buffed to the gills by huskies, okay? So I'm, I'm feeling okay about what we got here. Now, I love the sniper setup we got, too. I've, I'm feeling fantastic about one of these right here. I don't mind the... I mean, a toad goes insane, too. But I think it's, it's tough for us to get rid of something right here. It's not that tough. We probably could have done it. <laughs> Whatever. I was looking for some pineapples, too. Okay, don't shoot the messenger. Kangaroo's really good. I'm happy to have the kangaroo. We do want it to be in front of something that's not a, a cricket. Oh no, because we didn't get to attack. We screwed this whole thing up for ourselves. There's really, I don't know. I, I can't really complain about that one. It was my own dolphins that screwed it up for me. And I always respect the hedgehog builds. So I think you're gone. And I think we do stick with two dolphins for the time being. And we just run something like this. And then sell. And then something like this. And if we have to, we, okay, I see, I see the issue here. We could have run a spider, but instead, let's run a dolphin up at the front, and then let's put a, let's put a sheep here. That way, we're still getting two likely guaranteed triggers on our kangaroo, which actually has pretty good stats in its own right right now. Nice little snipe there. Nice little two for one. This is a great setup for us. This is looking good. Now, the dolphin actually has always been efficient, but I think it scales well, like it levels well now. If we get the chance to level up a dolphin, I'd love to for now. I'll pay three gold for that. You never know if slash when it's, it's gonna, the level up's gonna come. I'm also gonna, I'm gonna keep pumping these stats a little bit with the, with the mole. I'm a, a noted mole respecter now. If you can't handle me at my mole, you don't deserve me at my, at my best. Two giraffes. It's a little late for a 1-1 one, one buff to excite you, you know? I'm gonna run a mole. Just like they said in Remember the Titans. If you drop a pass, you run a mole. If you talk back to the coach, you run a mole. If you fumble a football, we duct tape it to your hands, and then you run a mole. That's, that sounds right. That sounds like what they said in that. Oh, my one. Said a lot of things in that movie, though. Okay, how about one of these? 
I'll run a single deer. I'm not a grape believer here. There's a lot of deer, man. This is a, this is a whole, whole whack load of units we already have access to, which I think is great. But I am worried if we lose this one, we're on lethal. Okay, you snipe me, I snipe you. You you snipe one of mine, I snipe two of yours. You send one of mine to the morgue, I send you to Applebee's for all you can eat appetizers. I say, let's stop all this needless violence. That's four wins. I don't know how we, we won against an identical team, but I'll take it. Okay, you're a level two. Now you, leveling would be very interesting if we can get some form of scaling involved. How about a snake? How about a snake? How about it? But we could just put another deer out there. <laughs> Is the, that's the other interesting thing. We could just stick a deer out there. But a snake, though. A snake. I think I'm going to stick a snake out there. I'm also, I'm kind of deliberately not putting equipment on my units, knowing if we get a shop that has like a bunch of huskies on it, we could go to the moon, man. That went very well. I thought it was going to be bad, but it turns out it owns. Pineapples. Pineapples are good. Let's take one of these. Let's, let's not roll until we free up our shop. A moth, we're not interested. We're not interested in any of these units. Let's take a very small amount of HP, but it, or a small amount of uh, attributes, but still happy to see it. We got mildly sniped, but we, did, we sniped a toad ourselves, which is just really good luck, honestly. Big shooting, big shooting. Big shooting, I'll take it. Honestly, that's a win. Very narrow win, but a win nonetheless. We're clawing up here. Scale me. Stegosaurus me. Stegosaurus me. I don't think we need to take a dolphin. I honestly think the moose might be a little slow. I, I've loved the moose as long as I've been alive. Except for all those times when I said it was bad. But maybe we could get rid of you and put a husky on the team. He's only, he's only scaling two lads, though. He's only scaling two lads. Two lads? Two lads? I don't think it's enough. I searched my feelings and I said, you know, I, it's not that I think the moth is necessarily better, it's just that I feel like the cost of starting the pivot is too high. It would have been a really nice time to have. Oh, oh, unless maybe, maybe, maybe. There's a chance. There's a chance. Chance me. There's no chance. There's no chance. Maybe with some different sniping, we could have gotten lucky. But hold on, though. Level two snake goes hard. We need to find a way to keep you alive longer. That's, that's the problem. But then if I give this to you, but then none of our units have any... Okay, I'm realizing the folly of our ways. It's not good when your kangaroo is your best unit, because your kangaroo is supposed to piggyback, like, off of your... Off of your best unit. So, like, a 21-22... Kangaroo is not doing anything for us. It's... It's some... You, like, w one round... Oh, to five wins, that's it? You're going up against, like, a team full of 8-8s. Eight Two rounds later, it's like, surprise. <laughs> It's a uh, four thirty thirties. Like really? How did that happen? I don't know how to feel about this team. But what I will say is that getting uh, five points in buffs, be an innocent cake here, is pretty sick. The downside is that we're three two two three and two two, which is not good. Like that's just. For all the free attributes that we got, you'd think that we our squad might be a little stronger than that, but it isn't. So we'll run a, a moth because it it hangs well. Just gonna say we're looking for basically a, a, a likely level, a likely level. Intersecting buffs, okay. That's uh, it, it's fine and it's not fine at the same time. My God, it, it worked out perfectly. It's the purest draw I've ever seen in my life. Level me. A level! OMG, a hit level. A sheep. One of the most efficient units in the game. Especially for when it's showing up. And you know what I say next? I say, honestly, give me another chance at a level. And then I try to offload the, the moth buff a little bit. 
Okay, so where's this team going? This is a great question. It's a great question. Where's this team going, they said. Where is this team going? That actually, I think that kind of worked out for us. We're going to win this one. We'd love to see more units we already have. Like that, for example, is very nice. We'd love to see... I, it might be a great time to purchase some apples. Can you just keep rolling the shop into the same things I already have? <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, I want to save, so I'm gonna I'm gonna combine here. I know this looks a little backwards because we lose that one extra attribute point, but it means we get to save three gold next time and still get the level up that we so desire. So I, I stand by it. Hey, seven two sheep and three two sheep. Guess what? We all float down here. We definitely do lose this one though. Great sounds. Patoom. Change the patoom. Change the patoom sound recently. Level me. Very good level. Not a very good unit. There's no turtles this week. That's I don't know how we're going to make that work. We're going to take our, our little buff. How quaint. I still love a kangaroo, honestly. Um, and I, I do still love a dolphin. So I, I really think we can roll like this. And then a, a dolphin that's likely, not guaranteed in the slightest, but likely to level up soon. Yeah, sure. See, our kangaroo, there's going to be a kangaroo difference here. I think our kangaroo is going to go to the moon. And your kangaroo is going gonna, is gonna to be terrestrial. I'm so 2008. You're so 2000 and late. A, a, a lyric that honestly has proved ironic as time has gone on. Why don't you take garlic? I don't think you're going to live too much longer. And even if you do, I don't think you're sticking around too much longer. Why am I leveling a sheep? <laughs> I don't know. I guess to make our kangaroo better. Hold on. Wait a minute. Our otter's going to go off. I'm realizing that maybe just to, to, to invest in the mid game is maybe the meta when we're losing at the late game because we only have one HP left. Maybe that makes, maybe survival is important. First time I've ever considered it, honestly. Okay, a goat is not what we're looking for. The real problem I have right now is I don't know what unit gets sold first on the team. <laughs> I guess you would sell a 1-2 kangaroo, but the kangaroo also, well, we're about to test its utility, I suppose. Hold on, our team's still actually really good. It looks bad, but it but it is good. Like it, it's just winning based on stats right now, and I'm I'm living for it. It's really hard to get rid of a level two kangaroo, but I, I guess I'm, we could get rid of an otter first, and then a moth would be like close behind. Okay, this we're now facing scaling. This is where life becomes a problem for us. We do lose this one, but considering what we were going up against, I think it's not that bad. Now we need to scale. Three, one, three, three, one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? We, we need to scale. That's not negotiable. Sell a one. Roll your other one up at the front, okay? Now we need to sell a three. And it would probably be the dolphin. I don't really want to buy a tier 5. I do want this. Buy a tier 6, get a tier 6 leveling up. Doesn't seem like it's, the, it's likely to be that good, but at least it is getting a buff. Right. Um, yeah, I don't think on round 9, like nobody on your squad having over uh, 10 HP. That seems, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. In, in industry terms, to me, that seems bearish. It looks like we didn't lose by that much, but we lost by a lot there. That's, it's, it's a hard situation to come back from, man. We gotta sell a tier three, right? No, wait, five, one, three, three. Yeah, we gotta sell a tier three. I'm sorry, sheep. We have to do something like this. I don't think the piranha is getting where it needs to go, but something like this, I, I kind of feel like it has to have. You're at tier five, which is fine. You get two guaranteed buffs off of you, 
and then roll for, I don't know, sure, one of these, and none of these. Is there a rule you can never get two chocolates in a shop? Because I'm, I'm really interested in the two chocolate shop right now. Not that we're going to live through this one to begin with, probably. This is a classic situation. This team is not that good, but they are better than me. <laughs> Or are they? Or are they equivalent to me? Two chocolates! I bullied them. And I'm reaping all the benefits. Okay, so we're gonna invest that, you know, it's still, we're not even close to being out of the woods, but we invested that in our scaler because it's like our only option to possibly get out of this. We still got a moth in here just, just burning a hole in my pocket, just annoying me. Hold on, we killed their best unit. So you're saying there's a chance? This is a miracle. Every win right now is a miracle, to be honest. Would it be insane for me to just go in on the poodle again? I feel like it's kind of gotta happen. Even though it takes so long for it to reach its logical conclusion. Look, it's not gonna... It, if the apple ends up mattering, it happens, but like... That's just, that's a situation where it wasn't that shop that cost us. It was the the losses in the mid game. Please, that's a big kangaroo. Let me live. Let me live. You want to let me live? You want to let me live? You're overriding. Everybody's overriding. Everybody's everything. You want to let me live? I'm going to live. I'm gonna win. And then we're getting a level three poodle. This is scary. Because now there's like a, a faint hope. A glimmer. <laughs> of us being able to make something work here. Now we can't sell anything. I do like, I want that. But I want garlic. St we, maybe we could sell a stegosaurus. But it is nice to get those two, you know, because like you're 14, 12, we'd be generating 13, 13. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then, you know what? I think it just has to look like this. Why don't you take a steak? We really want garlic on the front boy, though. I know we're losing a 3-3 buff, but we're, distri we're distributing way more stat points to a unit that it should be important. That it should... That's a really good... That's a really good leopard. Run it back. Like, I know how this sounds. I, I really do. I, I use this reference a lot. I, I feel like Lisa Simpson in that... Um, Simpsons episode. I, I bet you didn't see that second part coming there. Um, where... Big powerful pearl. Everyone else can solve the riddle on the lunchbox, but she can't. Like, this weekly just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> In the early game, I feel like I kind of get it. And then... You piece of junk. In the late game, I'm like, I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it, and then it all falls apart. Like, we, we, we're like, I'm hanging, I'm drawing, oh, narrow loss, whoa, a hit victory. And then it's like... I just go up against somebody who's got a team full of 50-50s, and I'm like, I don't even know, how did you get there? I guess they're rolling, like aggressively rolling for the only scalers in the game and then leveling them. Seems, seems possible. This was important. A sheep is also really good. A sheep is not a contract, but it's very nice. It's very, very nice. Don't like to see a hedgehog. That's that's one of the things we do not like to see on this squad. But we do summon a couple of lads. <laughs> this is not... Wait, it's exactly good enough! Okay, we need some garlic on level up. Or uh, on next level, I should say. Why don't we give a sheep one of these? Help it do some more damage. Give an apple to... I don't know. Why don't we give an apple to... I don't know. Why don't we give you an apple? Why don't we give you uh, some honey? Why don't we become the ultimate scumbag horse team? Try not to lose early. Uh, get an early husky and then use that husky to, to win the whole game, I guess. This seems to be uh, the way. Seems to be the way we do things. We're going to win this one, by the way. Holy cow, are we ever going to win this one? Okay, I would love to see a horse. 
No horse. Garlic is important, but on who? <laughs> I guess on a horse? Giraffe is, I mean, it's a very early scaler. It's hard to not take a giraffe here. Would I sell an otter? I, would think, I think I would, even though it had honey on it. Let's get you close to leveling. Would have been nice to get the level on this turn, but whatever. Still think this team is better than it looks. We haven't lost yet. Now that can change pretty quick. I do think a sniper screws this whole thing up for us. Like that's really bad. Yeah, yeah, that's really bad. That, that sniper blew us away. And the kangaroo and the jellyfish. And then having like the best units, uh, the, you had better units than me, that, that really helped as well. All that stuff went pretty hard. So we're, I'm kind of trying to unwind. Our, our previous reliance on the summons. Now, remember I said that team was great? Well, now I've lost one, so all my confidence is now gone. If you're wondering the, what changed, the, the thing that changed is I suffered a single setback, and now um, I no longer have any confidence in myself or in the plan that we were undertaking. By the way, we lose this one, and I will never recover. I'll never recover from that. Honey Badger, it just makes you sick. It makes you sick when you lose to it. Honey Badger stands be like, um, but I spent the three gold to buy the honey, so... You could have spent that three gold on anything, including an apple. Well, um, are we pivoting again? I would say yes. I would say you have to... Like, what we're doing right now is not tenable. It's not functional. So, instead, I choose to uh, exact revenge on a world that has wronged me. So, we're going to roll two dolphins... And perhaps we're going to pineapple both of them. I haven't decided yet. Two sheep. How do I feel about this? Do I feel like my kangaroo has a shot? Oh, I feel like it's got a shot. Oh, you piece of junk. <laughs> it's the exact right amount of damage with the meat and everything. Okay, level me because you need to. Buff me. Look, it's gonna, the moose is gonna be better than, uh, than a giraffe. Holy cow, it kind of worked. Okay, get rid of your tier threes, keep a tier four up there. I don't know, 10-10 moose is gaining four, no, gain three, three that turn. Two things are dead here. Hold on, hold on, this looks beautiful. Now I've got an insane amount of confidence. Why was it, what, why did I lose hope earlier? Everything looks great. <laughs> Nothing to worry about here. Okay, freeze your tier fives. And, you know, you're looking... Maybe, like, a chili pepper on you makes you more useful. Freeze a tier four. Two more tier fives. If we're just gonna roll... Oh, there's chocolate. We should roll and roll. No chocolate. As pain. I'm rolling still. It's, like, the most insulting shops of all time. We just hit tier five. Hey, here's a bunch of, like, tier one, tier two foods. We probably should buy them instead of just being insulted, but... You shuffled me, and then you you sniped my whole team. But then I sniped your whole team. But it doesn't matter, because you already sniped my whole team. It's a cursed weekly, man. I can't, I can't figure it out! I can't figure it out! Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!